And I really appreciate everybody sticking around till 5 p.m. I see the hall is absolutely full. Uh, but, you know, I was going to do a presentation. Uh, I've done that in San Francisco and London, but I'm going to skip that. Because there's an email that came yesterday that really is all that matters that I want to read to you. This is an email I got yesterday evening. Mark, with your permission, I'm going to read what you wrote. This guy sent me an email after listening to a speech I gave in London, I think. And he said, Pradeep, my son passed away last year from a terminal brain cancer. He was six years old. I've been trying to find a way forward, something to do with myself. How the hell do I get involved with your project? I'm devastated with the idea that if we had this solution earlier, I would have not lost the hours I spent fighting the healthcare system, but I spent them with my son instead. I read that and I stopped dead in my tracks. We were walking around in Amsterdam and I said, I gotta go back home, gotta call Mark and gotta talk to him. And as I read it, it gives me the chills. Because I have a three-year-old son too, and he needs healthcare. And I've been in healthcare all my life, and I can tell you it's a nightmare trying to coordinate his care. And he's thankfully not terminally ill, right? And here's a father writing to me and saying, I want to be part of this because I went through is unimaginable. Not only do you lose your son, you spend most of your time fighting healthcare system. And look, that may be just a US problem in many people's mind, but it isn't. Healthcare is very complex. It's very difficult to access. It's even harder to understand. The law varies from every country. US law varies from state to state, program to program, insurance company to insurance company, employer to employer. So as a patient, it's a nightmare to figure out how do you use it, how do you pay for it, how do you afford it, and what's the right thing to do. So there are a lot of great companies who are talking about healthcare right now, and blockchain is a fantastic use case, really is, for healthcare, or healthcare is a fantastic use case for blockchain. And many of them are doing cool things, clinical trials, patient record sharing. We decided to fix the other side of the problem, which is the access to care, payment for care, and quality of care. Uh, I've been an insurance CIO in my, uh, most of my life, and, or rather in the insurance industry, including being an insurance CIO. And I know that we have become policemen of care. I know that we don't really facilitate care. I know we actually get in the way of care delivery. And that's not because there's a big conspiracy. All the CIOs got together and said, how do we frustrate every patient and burden every provider in the country? That never really happened. It evolved into a very inefficient system. We ended up with tons of back-end systems that just don't talk to each other. And despite the best efforts, they're never going to talk to each other. So when I was looking for a solution to really delegate and empower the patient with the authority to go see any doctor they want to see, make sure the doctor has the right qualifications to treat the patient, and make sure that I pay them correctly and timely. We built everything in the world, portals, apps, centralized exchanges, distributed exchanges, health information exchanges. Obama spent billions of dollars connecting hospital systems. You know what, things got worse, not better. So what we're looking to do is to use blockchain for what it does better than anything else, which is to delegate the authority. And our vision is simple and damn hard to, to implement, which is that I, the insurance company, want to delegate the authority to the patient to see whichever doctor they want to see, and I want to pay the doctor accurately for the services that were needed. And if we can do that in a manner that they don't have to come to my portal, I don't have to issue them a voucher, they don't have to issue me a bill, we can streamline healthcare for so many people, including people like Mark, who don't really want to deal with that at the moment they're dealing with their son. That's the vision. The vision is to use the chain as a decentralization of authority, delegation of payment authority, and the ability to see and manage care. So we have built a platform that we are launching in the US for a large healthcare organization in May. Uh, which will include initially 5,000 doctors and half a million or so families using it to coordinate care, get scheduling done, uh, and to use delegated payment tokens to actually pay each other. And then we will launch it around the world because the platform really is designed to fit every country, including Netherlands. You are primarily what we call a TPA model. Uh, in China, it's a self-pay model. In India, it's a hybrid. But any model the same issue exists. No matter who's writing the check, you still have to fix the issue with access to care and the authority to pay. And that's what we're trying to fix. So we don't really do much with clinical records. That's somebody else's challenge and opportunity. We are really focused on how do we make care accessible, care equitable, and how do we make care payable in the, from an accurate perspective. We're very excited about the support we're getting from the industry, both the crypto industry as well as the insurance industry. And they couldn't be worlds apart. 
You know, it's kind of funny. In the morning, I'll be sitting with an insurance company. In the evening, I'm presenting at a crypto conference. And the questions you get here are completely different. But they do meet. You know, the idea of a, uh, of a digital token that's intelligent and the idea of a blockchain that is verifiable and the idea that I don't need you to come to me to approve care before you can go see the doctor sits well with both parties. And the reason for that is insurance companies, contrary to popular belief, aren't really interested in getting you sick or sicker. We want to get you healthier. We want to get you to the doctor fast so you can get well fast, because the longer you're sick, the more money it costs. So no organization, economically driven, wants to spend more money. But they are inefficient, and they're highly bureaucratic processes, and that's what we're trying to fix. So that's the vision of SolveCare. I, again, don't want to present to you a PowerPoint, because it really does feels trivial when you really think about what really matters. But if you want to talk further, I'll be at the booth. Um, we have a small stand outside. I'll be here for half of the day tomorrow before I fly back home to see the three-year-old that really makes me work this hard. So I'm available for any questions. Thanks, everyone, for listening. I hope you have a great rest of the evening.